So the Dolby Atmos mix is finished and it's off to be QC'd. The QC process often involves both an automated and a manual human QC. The automated QC will be able to pick up audio dropouts, glitches, incorrect average loudness, or through peak violations, but it isn't going to be able to pick up on things which might be misunderstood as creative choice. So for example, if a car is panning from left to right, but actually on screen it travels right to left, an automated process won't pick up on that. Or things like dialogue clarity issues. You still need to have someone listening to the mix. It's important to make sure that your mix is adhering to the delivery specifications of whoever it is that you're delivering to. There's metering, and analysis functionality within the Dolby toolset to allow your creative team to accurately monitor and measure what's happening in the mix to make sure that it's hitting the delivery specification targets. Thanks for watching. If you want more information, please reach out to us through your usual contacts.